just like you look different in several stages of your life cycle chromosomes inside the cell also look different in different stages of the cell cycle sometimes they are in an open chromatin stage and this kind of appearance is known as beads on string and this kind of situation is seen in the interface stage where the chromatin is transcriptionally active sometimes also these chromosome could stay in a condensed state like that in metaphase where they are not transcriptionally active so depending upon the stages of the cell cycle we can find different uh, uh, profiles of chromosomes but be it in a condensed state or in a transcriptionally relaxed state the basic subunit or the basic structural unit for the chromosome is called the nucleosome which is formed of dna and basic protein known as histone histone are basic protein which are rich in lysine and arginine all the basic amino acids now the basic unit of the uh, nucleosome is a histone core and dna so dna wrap around the nucleosome basically the histone core to form the nucleosome now there are h3 and h4 histones which form pair with each other to form a h3 h4 dimer so as h2a and h2b form h2a to be dimer now h3 h4 form a tetramer top of which h2a to b dimer sits on and thus they form a core histone octamer dna is negatively charged due to the phosphate backbone now negatively charged dna is wrapping around the core histone octamer and there are many type of interaction one of that is ionic interaction between the positively charged histone octamer versus the negatively charged dna backbone that is how the nucleosome is stabilized now if we talk about little bit about structure of the histones histone has two characteristic structural domains one is a histone fold histone fold is basically a collection of three alpha helices which are conserved across all the histones so if we take histone 2a h3 or h4 more or less the structural features are similar in this histone fold region it is it is structurally and functionally conserved also it has a elongated n terminal tail which is also rich in uh, lysine and arginine and several other amino acid residues and this histone tail is hot spot for several modifications in the histone so let's just ask that what is the importance of these structural domains at a functional level so the histone tail does not help in form condensation of the chromosome or wrapping the dna around it because i experiment suggest when there is a mild trypsin digestion of the nucleosome which cleaves of the n terminal tail the nucleosome still remains in a proper conformation that means the histone fold is the structure which is interacting with the dna and stabilizing the nucleosome not the n terminal tail whereas the n terminal tails are site for several modifications like acetylation methylation etc and etc so now the question comes how the interaction between these core histones core histone histone folds and dna occurs it turns out that dna interaction to the histone happens in the minor groove and we know that minor groove or phosphate backbone they are not rich in information so the histone interaction with the dna is not sequence specific also the interaction type is non covalent in nature mostly hydrogen bonds and ionic interaction many of the cases there are also van der waals interaction as well then why is there no sequence specificity between dna histone interaction now the question is if there is a sequence specificity between histone and dna interaction then cell has to produce 
several thousand different type of histones in order to recognize a specific sequence of DNA. That is why histones generally interacts with minor groove and phosphate backbones, which are less rich in information. And histone tails are rich in several type of amino acids, which are hotspot for modifications like phosphorylation, methylation, acetylation, etc. Now, how do people know that how much DNA is associated with the nucleosome? Now we know that 200 base pair of DNA, roughly, is associated with the nucleosome. So, in past, scientists did one important experiment where they took the nucleosome, I mean, DNA in intact form of nucleosome, and they digested with micrococcal nuclease. As a result, they checked the bands, the, the DNA attached with those complexes, they checked the bands. They always get a band, roughly, for a long time di digestion or a harsh digestion, they always get a band around 200 base pairs. And for a mild digestion, they either get a 200 base pair band or something which is corresponding to a multiple of that. That tells us that nucleosome associated DNA is roughly 200 base pair in size. Now. We talked about several core histones. Apart from core histones, there are linker histones, which is histone H1. Now, linker histone interacts with each other and help in compaction. From a bead on string structure, it formed to a 30 nanometer cable solenoid structure. So, the compaction is aided by this H1 linker histone. And that helps in higher order folding and packaging of the chromosome inside the nucleus. I hope this video was informative. If you like my video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.